What's up, Bear Signs? What's going on, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sis? Hope you're having a great day. I am. Hey, welcome to the Spiritual Vice Tarot Platform, where it is my mission to impact you enough to know thyself. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is your second time, welcome. <laughs> Yes, I'm feeling very blessed to be here. Um, just want you to know that um, if you're ever interested in booking a reading with Spirit, check the description box below. I don't like to spend a lot of time on promos. And since I am new to YouTube, I may reiterate this a few times. But after week three, you won't be hearing this from me anymore. So tell all your friends how to do this if they can't read. Okay? All right, now, you all are air signs, so you are bright enough and intelligent enough to know how to do all of this stuff without me actually telling you, right? Okay. So, I think you're supposed to be like the brains of the Zodiac. Okay, well, we're going to see what's going on with you this week and your money from the 19th to the 25th. So, blessings to you all, especially those that deserve it. Um, um, earth signs. Reading um, wasn't as good as to me as I think as the fire signs, and you won't you may want to check those out. Um, and if you have any fire in your chart, you may be um, a part of the category where you'll be whatever you're doing is going to lead you to richness, it's going to lead you to more than you've experienced in your life. So I don't want to spend talking about them because you say, Hey, this is my time, this is my platform, this is by air, so let's get to it, okay? So when it comes to your money this week, air side, you can expect the high priestess, isn't she beautiful? Yes, you can expect the high priestess. And even without looking at the card, I don't know why, but when it comes to money, you can expect solitude. And you can expect um, somebody to show you something. And it may be showing you, or something being revealed to you in secret when it comes to money. Or some of you may find some money that was tough or hidden away that you either didn't know about or you forgot about it. Um, it seems like some of you may be taking a poll. I don't know if you get paid for that or not. Okay, I'm, I'm, this is interesting. Okay, and it appears to me that this is all coming about because either you are on a trip or on your journey in, during the week, you know, you could, you could, a trip or a journey could be from here to your job, okay? So don't always think every trip or journey is about going uh, or leaving your vicinity or, you know, the area where you live. It, it, it could, a trip can be down the street, okay? You can travel down the street. But it appears to me that um, you would actually be on a trip or traveling somewhere. And for some of you, it's a cancellation. You're going to cancel a trip. You're going to cancel. It could be an appointment that you have to go to. Okay? I don't know. I'm not picking up why what this has to do with money. But maybe you do. Air signs. Maybe you can resonate with this. And all of this is stemming from the magician or the magi, the high priest. Okay? So this is a show and tell card. 
This is also a card that deals with working with what you have. So it seems like you air signs is going to be able to pull something out of the bag. Like a magic trick. You're going to just be able to come up with money. For some reason, you're going to be able to come up with money this week. You're going to be able, like... It's going to be like pulling it out of the bag, literally. And you're going to be able to work with what you have. So you're going to be okay because of this, um, this two of scepters reversed. This is the reason why you're able to do this. Because either you have canceled something or you... You or you actually set a date and, and you have sacrificed to get where you're going, okay? Some of you are gonna have to sacrifice or it's gonna be kind of sacrificial to get where you're going. Okay, so maybe that's really what your money is dealing with, trying to come up with come up with it magically, you know, pulling together finding money that you didn't know that you didn't have that you had or that you forgot about some of you so that's what it looks like this week so far you're going to be able to work with what you have this week and get where you're going believe me you'll be able to take care of your business this week now your outcome card is the three of swords you you have the three of swords in your outcome and i'm so sorry but air signs look like we're going to be a little feel a little pressured and that makes sense to me. Yeah, you're going to feel a little pressured, a little frustrated behind this. But I think this frustration and this pressure may be good because it's going to help you to think. It's going to help you to figure out, you know, to do the math. It's going to help you to figure out what to do for yourself. You're going to believe me. You're going you're gonna to do quite well. So I see 12 also to me, the number 12 it's sort of like a, a crucifixion, if you could say, a sort of a nailing to the cross, if you can say. Um, it's a little troubling, troublesome this week with money, but you'll be able to take care of all the things that you need to take care of. Okay? So don't worry. Now, your spiritual about oracle card or your angelic message, your special message is the giant card and that is reflected by the two of pentacles. And the two of pentacles is an earth card. I'm told it's a Capricorn card, but actually it's got a lot of water and air in it. A lot of air in it, I'm sorry, it has a lot of air in it. It is an air card. Okay, so you have a big decision to make this week. You know, it may seem minor to other people, but it's big to you because nobody can count your coins but you. Okay? So, where $10 may be small, it's big this week. Okay? So, you, you're bouncing back and forth this week on what to do, on how to do it. And that makes sense with the uh, magician card as well as with um, the high priestess because both of these are... He's like a high priestess. She's a high priestess. You know. They both deal with secrets. So. Yeah. Some of y'all got some secret cash. Somewhere where you can work with. And you're going to have to make a big decision about it. For whatever reason. And I know that this can be true. Because I've had hard times. And I've had like special things put up. That I didn't necessarily want to use. But I had to learn the lesson of detachment and letting go and understanding that, you know, your treasures sometimes have to be used. And this may be what this is, air signs. Some of us may have to, you air signs may have to jump into your treasures, what you consider a treasure. Like I had gold coins, but God bless me to get them back one day. It can come back to you. I'm just letting you know, but that seems to be... Uh, Pretty much the energy around money for you this week. And the bottom line is you may have to 
seek some assistance. And it, 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 it may not be what you want to do. It may not be someone you want to refer to. But the bottom line, you're either going to have to seek some assistance or you're going to have to get in your third eye and figure out what it is that you need to do. But it seems to me you all have the Chiron card in reverse. It's letting me know that you air signs need a healing. You need a healing. You need a healing. You need a Scorpio healing. And I know when we're dealing with Scorpio, you're dealing with truth. And we're dealing with Chiron. Chiron is considered the wounded healer. So there's also whoever this uh, queen of hearts is, this queen of chalice, cups, whatever you want to call her. She is uh, very intuitive and she knows exactly what to do. She knows who can help you. She knows who can get you money. Okay? But you need to release something regarding this help. Because I see that you're weary about it. You're weary. Some of you may be weary having to come to this to this helper. It could be you could be weary about your issues. She could be a psychic. Okay? So um, and you may be going to her for some advice. And some of you, you're going to her for money. She could be your mom. She could be um, uh, like a social worker. That's the word I'm looking for. So some of you will be reaching out to social workers or, you know, the state departments of your state for help. And... Um, you're going to have to think about some something that was painful behind this situation. I don't know why, but you you will. Okay? So, air signs, don't worry about it. You'll get through it. You may be a little frustrated this week behind your finances, but it's only one week. Keep your head up and thank the universe anyway. Okay? So, um, again, if you need to hear back from me personally, um, because this is a general reading, um, hit the description box, get that information, and get with me ASAP. And until then, you have a beautiful week, okay? Peace and one love. Take care.